Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. So a question I get a lot from um, just people in general, in real life actually, more so than the internet, is what is it like to be a schizophrenic? If I could sum it up into one word, one word, it would be confusion. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, hear me talk about hallucinations and stuff and go, oh, it must be like really scary, like you're always living in a horror movie or, or like it's a bad dream. And I always go back to no, I can usually tell my hallucinations aren't real. Um, great example, the other day I was at work and um, this person was talking and the easiest way I can describe the hallucination was it was like someone had like cut the person's face off and then like put it back on, but like not very well. So like if I, I'm not trying to trigger anyone here, but yeah, like literally they had like taken it off and then put it back on, but just sloppily. So I'm like sitting there, and I, I know that's not, I know this person doesn't have a face like this, but I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it and I was obsessed with like looking at the lines of where it was connected around the scalp. And to me, that, that's exactly what it looked like. Um, and even though I know I was seeing it wrong, this wasn't correct, there's something messed up here, I couldn't stop myself from seeing that. And it was very confusing to me. Um, I get kind of what's real and what's not confused a lot. I kind of joke, like I'll say something to someone like, hey, didn't I see you yesterday? Didn't I? No, I made that up. I made that up, right? Okay. <laughs> and I like joke and, and I'll, I'll joke it off. Um, but it, it happens all the time where I'll ask someone, didn't you tell me this happened? And they'll be like, no. And I'm like, right, okay, sorry, I made that up. I'm confusing you with something else. Because, yeah, like it's like the wires get all crossed and tangled. Um, I don't be a situation where I'm thinking, did this really happen or, or not? And sometimes I kind of have to like... Oh, um, kind of asked random questions to people being like, hey, did we meet recently? No, that was somewhere in my head. I don't know where I'm getting this thought from. It's not like I dreamed it. It's like, it's like the thoughts just kind of there with the question mark. Like, did we go out to lunch last week? Question mark. For some reason, I'm thinking this person told me something that maybe they didn't or something like that. So I think overall confusion. Um, Again, I've talked about how I hear a lot of like ticking and, and noises and like there's there's a radio left on in another room and, and it is, it's confusing because it's like, is that really there? Is that a real thing? Um, yeah. So overall, I think confusion would be the best word to sum up schizophrenia, what it's like to experience it yourself. Not really horror, not really like scary. Um, obviously, there's scary parts to it, especially, you know, uh, in, at nighttime, I think it's a lot scarier to be a schizophrenic than in the daytime because, uh, for me at least, my hallucinations play more in the dark. Uh, they play in the light too, but I feel like the dark, they can just kind of create whatever they want. Um, whereas the light, they kind of have things to work with. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you're a schizophrenic and you could describe schizophrenia to someone who has no clue what it's like in one to five words, what would you say? Comment in the uh, the comments below. Comment in the comments below. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so for me, confusion. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so uh, as always, definitely check out the mental health playlist popping up somewhere on the screen. Scream, scream, and other related uh, mental health videos popping up. And Little Broken Star, uh, my book I wrote about schizophrenia in comic form. So definitely check that out. Um, link in Amazon. It's on Amazon.com and Kindle. So please check out Little Broken Star. Super easy to read book for children or adults uh, dealing with schizophrenia. I'm Rachel Starr. One word to describe schizophrenia from schizophrenics.